Hello guys, this is Eli J. Brown slash Eli G. Brony with all of the villain sets from Invasion from Below Wave 1. Now, I am going to take these three, or four if you count Splitter Beast as two, and make them into this. This beast right here, the combination model. Now I am going to tell you that I am going to build this combination model based upon the picture. I do not have the actual instructions for them. I'm sure that instructions are already available online, but I cannot be bothered to do that. So I am just going to do everything from what is shown in the picture. So wish me luck. And there we have all three of the villain sets from Wave 1 of Invasion from Below combined together. Now, what do I think of this set? Well, well, not set, it's a combiner, it's not an actual set. Well, I, here's what I gotta say about this. I actually like this combiner model a lot better than any of the regular Invasion from Below sets. Now, why they didn't put this in the actual story, even though it's a combiner, I have no idea. But they really should have put this beast into the story. Because it is just so freaking awesome. Right here. Now, with the fact that Slither Beast was just two beasts in one, this beast right here, I think it's, it's all one beast. Three heads, but all just one body, because, well, I don't see any way you could split this guy up into three individual beasts. So what the, well, not the instructor, what the picture shows, at the very most, is Ferno on the back of the, of this beast, and also what it shows would be, hold it for a minute. Breeze with the flame weapon right here. Now, I certainly don't get why Breeze is carrying the flame weapon there in the picture, but okay. Though, of course, you could put any of the uh, hero minifigures on, on the back of here. Uh, though, of course, you lose one head, but that's okay, because I'm pretty happy with how this turns out. Though, you get the lower part of Jaw Beast down here, and what is also interesting is the fact that there are actual toes put onto the feet right here. Now, when I was doing the build, I started off using the Splitter Beast uh, figure and just put parts from the others onto it, um, though what I did notice is, well, according to the picture, it looked like the, the smaller half body was supposed to be used for the front and the wider half was wider part was to be used on the back. Now both of the outer heads are connected to the body on the back, but the one in the middle is actually connected to the body piece at the front. Now what is also quite quite something that I've been asking asking myself for probably a long time. If a creature has three heads, what good use does the middle head have? I mean, it's just sitting there doing, well, nothing. It has to spend its whole life letting its outer siblings do all the work in, in life. He has to rely on, on them to feed him, he has to rely on them taking him places. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty sad that he doesn't get to do anything on the body except just see and talk and smell and and that. He doesn't get his own legs, he doesn't get his own arms. That's just sad. A very sad thing for a beast that has three heads and you happen to be the head in the middle. Oh, how sad. That's just how I look at it, though some people, I'm not sure if there are actually people with three heads. I know there are people with two heads in the world, but I have yet to see one with three. Um, 
having um, three heads, and the middle one actually does not find being the middle head all that bad. That's just what I'm saying. Now, there were uh, quite a lot of pieces left over from doing the combiner model right here. And I think that... Actually, I was going to say that I think I could actually build a... another creature using all of these leftover parts, but I realize without the lower jaw, I, I just can't attach the uh, jaw beast head uh, onto anything without the lower jaw. But you could actually create something else out of all of these parts right here. Because that that's just amazing with all of these parts right here. I'm actually going to quickly take apart these um, as I uh, speak. So, what do I think about the combiner model? Well, as I said, I wish that it was actually part of the Invasion from Below story, though combiner models in the Hero Factory series are just in existence for the sake of combiner models to be in existence and they don't actually have any part of the story. It's just something that lets people combine their sets together. So, thank you for watching and I will talk to you again in my next video.